Hello everyone, welcome to all of you to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the short run equilibrium of firm and industry. As we know, an industry is a collection of firms producing homogeneous products under perfect competition and hence the job of the industry is to decide the equilibrium price which should be accepted by all the firms in the market under perfect competition. The industry gets equilibrium under two conditions when the market demand will be equal to market supply and when all the firms will be in equilibrium. When these two conditions are fulfilled, the industry gets equilibrium and the equilibrium price is determined by the industry and all the firms in the market are only the price takers. The firm gets equilibrium when it satisfies the two conditions. Number one, marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost and number two, marginal cost curve should cut MR curve from below. It means the slope of MC should be greater than the slope of MR. Here, under short run conditions, it is not necessary that at the equilibrium point, all firms should earn excess profit. It is not necessary because under short run, whether the firm earns excess profit, normal profit or incurs the loss, it depends on the efficiency of the firm as well as the nature of average cost of the firm. If the average cost is lower than average revenue, then the firm will earn abnormal profit or we can say super normal profit. And if average revenue is equal to the average cost of the firm, then the firm will earn normal profit. And when the average cost is greater than average revenue, then the firm incurs the loss. And in the short run, under perfect competition, some firms earn excess profit that is super normal profit. Some firms may be in the normal profit situation or some of the firms may also incur the loss. So here we will describe in the diagram the equilibrium of the industry as well as we assume there are three firms, firm A, firm B and firm C in the market and we will describe the three situations of the firm. Number one, super normal profit situation. Number second, normal profit situation and number three, loss situation. Here in the diagram, we have first diagram that denotes the industry, second diagram that denotes firm A. Here the industry gets equilibrium when the demand curve D, D intersects the supply curve SS at point E. So here E is the equilibrium point where the market demand and market supply is OQ and the equilibrium price set by the industry is OP. Okay, so here it is price, here it is output. So the industry is in equilibrium at point E where the demand curve DD intersects the supply curve SS and the equilibrium market demand or market supply is OQ where the equilibrium price is OP. This equilibrium price OP is determined by the industry which is accepted by all the firms into the market. So the firm will accept the price OP. Okay. And here price is called average revenue curve and we know under perfect competition AR equal to MR. So AR curve or MR curve will be parallel to X axis and it will be the same line. So the price OP is also accepted by the firm A. Here the firm A, we assume the firm A is earning super normal profit. So by the condition we will plot average cost curve below the average revenue curve. 
so here it is ac average cost it is below the ar curve and now we will draw mc curve marginal cost curve and we know the nature of average cost and marginal cost the marginal cost curve at first declines reaches the minimum point and thereafter marginal cost curve increases and while marginal cost curve increases it will cut average cost curve at the minimum point so here the minimum point of average cost is this so marginal cost curve will be like this mc is the marginal cost curve which cuts ac at the minimum point when it rises and now we will find out the equilibrium point of the firm a the two conditions necessary for equilibrium are mr is equal to mc and mc curve cuts mr from below these both conditions are fulfilled here at point e1 here at point e1 the mc cuts mr so mc is equal to mr and mc cuts mr from below so the firm a gets equilibrium at point e1 where the equilibrium quantity of firm a is o q1 okay so the equilibrium quantity is o q1 the price is op the equilibrium point is e1 now we have to calculate and so the super normal profit or the abnormal profit earned by the firm a so in this diagram here the average revenue of the firm is q1 e1 or we can say that op o p okay this is the average revenue similarly the average cost this perpendicular line e1 q1 intersects the average cost curve at point f okay therefore the average cost will be q1 f average cost will be q1 f so when we deduct average cost from average revenue we will get average profit ap average revenue is q1 e1 minus average cost is q1 f so the q1 e1 minus q1 f we will get average profit f e1 so this f e1 will be our average profit and from point f we draw a perpendicular line on y axis and we will denote it by s okay so this average revenue f e1 multiplied by the output oq1 or sf so here the output is oq1 or sf okay this oq1 output is equal to sf so here the average profit is f e1 and output is sf so here this sf multiplied by f e1 we will get the shaded area will be which will be total profit of the firm okay so the total profit tp will be sf into f e1 so the total profit area will be yes f e1 p okay this total profit will be s f e1 p so this will be abnormal profit earned by the firm a so in this way we can describe the diagram that firm a is making abnormal profit or super normal profit equal to the area s f e1 p okay and we can calculate the total profit as follows 
this is the one situation where the firm A is earning super normal profit. Now we will see the firm B which is earning only normal profit or we can say that break even point where average revenue will be equal to average cost. Here AR is equal to MR and here average cost here the minimum point of average cost will tangent the average revenue curve okay and we will now draw MC curve which will cut AC at the minimum point this is the E point here at point E2 here at point E2 the marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue and marginal cost curve cuts MR curve from below so here at point E2 the firm B gets equilibrium okay and while drawing perpendicular line on X axis we will get equilibrium output OQ2 so the firm B at equilibrium price OP is producing and selling OQ2 level of output determined by the equilibrium point E2 and at point E2 the average cost is equal to average revenue that is Q2 E2 okay Q2 E2 is the average revenue as well as average cost of the firm B so average cost is equal to average revenue hence the firm is in the break even point that is called the firm is earning only normal profit so this is the condition where the firm is earning only normal profit because AR is equal to AC and now we will study the third condition the situation of loss which is incurred by the firm C the firm C is incurring the loss at the equilibrium point in the short run time period here the AR and MR curve will be the same line ok here now we will draw the average cost curve above the average revenue because we have to show that average cost is greater than average revenue so here we plot average cost curve AC the minimum point of AC is this and MC curve will be like this which cuts AC at the minimum point and here the marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue at this point and marginal cost curve cuts MR curve from below so this is the equilibrium point E3 where the firm produces OQ3 units of output and while stretching this curve up to the average cost at point F we will get the average cost is Q3F so here in this diagram average cost is Q3F average revenue is Q3 E3 so Q3 E3 is the average revenue whereas average cost is Q3F ok and since average cost is greater than average revenue the firm C incurs the loss that average, co average loss AL average loss will be average cost minus average revenue so average cost Q3F minus average revenue Q3 E3 we will get the average loss is E3F E3F so E3F is the average loss of the firm ok and it produces and sells OQ3 level of output which will be equal to SF ok from point F we will draw perpendicular line on y axis ok this SF 
is equal to OQ3. So this is the level of output SF and this is the average loss Q3F and when you multiply output with the average cost we will get total loss of the firm which will be denoted by the shaded area. The shaded area is PSF E3. So here the total loss TL is equal to average loss into output. Okay. So the average loss is so the average loss is E3F multiplied by output OQ3 or we can say that SF. So this will be equal to area PSF E3. PSF E3. So this shaded area PSF E3 denotes the loss that the firm C will face. So here we have seen that the industry is the price maker where market demand and market supply the interaction of market demand and market supply determines the equilibrium of the market industry and it sets the price OP which is accepted by all the firms in our example we have three firms firm A, firm B, firm C and all these three firms accept the price OP and at OP price firm A is earning excess profit firm B is earning normal profit and firm C is incurring the loss hence in the short run time period the industry gets equilibrium where the market demand equals market supply and when all firms are in equilibrium and a firm gets equilibrium where MR is equal to MC and MC cuts MR curve from below. So by fulfilling these necessary conditions we can describe the short run equilibrium of firm and industry. Okay. In the examination we have to draw four diagrams in the same line industry firm A, firm B and firm C. And along with this, I would like to request all of you to like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel. Thank you.